hi good morning if you have bought a new apple m1 max then i would like to guide you how you can install laravel and valet and all other mysql and other configurations for native apple silicon so let's begin with it if you have got a m1 mac i would prefer that you follow my tutorial so that you can get all the native applications so first thing to install on your Apple Silicon is Homebrew. So go to the Homebrew. Homebrew is now particularly a very useful tool for installing all the My MariaDB and other stuff. So you need to install it first. So go ins inside your terminal and paste the Homebrew link. I have already installed it. So once you have installed it, it will con it will give you all the details that it has installed correctly it will install native arm based homebrew so you don't need to figure it out later that it is not native so you don't need to do any stuff now don't follow the previous tutorials because homebrew is native so if you go to brew type brew it will go give you all the information and if you type brew info after the installations its installation it will give you all the details and you can also run brew doctor and updates and other sub brew list what i have installed so these are the packages i have installed so after installing the brew homebrew yeah on the apple m1 max then you need to install the maria db so maria db installation is quite similar and uh, if you look at the MariaDB, so this is this is the tutorial like brew install MariaDB. So once it's, it's, it is installed, you can start the services by typing brew services start MariaDB. And then you can go to the SQL and run the SQL command. So I have just typed brew db maria db installed over here and it will install the maria db. I am not going to execute it because I have already installed it and you can see over here in the maria db if you find one let me search maria db and you can find this this one again. So after installing MariaDB, why I am not installing MySQL because MySQL is not native yet at MySQL version 5.4 because if you are using 5.7 version it is not ARM based. So that's why I am installing MariaDB. It is quite similar to MySQL so you don't have to worry about it. After installing the MariaDB you need to install the PHP. I I'm using PHP 7.4 version. You can specify any version. It is same like brew install PHP at 7.4. And once you have installed it, it will allow you to install all the paths in your configuration files. So let me show you my uh, .zhs file so that you can configure it like that all the paths in there so i have homebrew path over here you can add it and then i have uh, php path over here uh, sbin and bin directories and then i have installed the composer composer i have moved into a, a user bin directory so if you are installing composer just follow the composer tutorial like over here Go to the composer site and then over here getting started and installation and you can just install it over there. And then you need to execute it move composer to user local bin. I have moved it to let me show you my link. I have moved it into slash user local bin 
and you can see over here it's their composer so well it has very tricky configuration so if you want to install the wallet laravel wallet or laravel valley i know go to the laravel valley site and uh, over here installation and just run brew install you have already installed brew at 7.4 version or the default php version then you already have the composer installed already now you need to install run this command composer global laravel just just copy and paste this command and after that run this command valley install so once you install the valley install then you need to type in this valley i am using php 7.4 so you can type in valley use php 7.4 or any version and then you can use php so once you have installed that you can now let's reset the mysql password so if you want to reset the root password just execute this command mysql admin user root password and then type in the new password new password should be enclosed in these codes so once you have done that then your root password will be this new password now let's check mysql is working by typing mysql minus u root and minus p and then i will be typing in the password i believe i set it to root and mariadb is login and you can view all the databases by typing show databases okay so if then i would prefer you load go to the app store and download sql ace it is a very good editor for mac and uh, you can set it up from the app store so if you go to the app store and search for sql ace over there you can find one it is a free editor db editor and you can download it from here sql ace so you can connect with any database you can choose any database over here and then so once you have done that then uh, let's configure the valet because we were still configuring the valet so configuring the valet uh, uh, actually initially it won't uh, work with the park sites because it has not installed the dns mask so you have to manually install it so let's go to the dns mask site and install it can now install the dns mask dns mask you need to go to this site i will post the link in the description and follow the tutorial on dns mask by installing brew install dns mask just need to copy it from here and paste it in the terminal like so and install it and once it's installed then execute this command and once you have executed it then restart the dns mask services and after that make a directory etc resolver and copy run these commands as well so you have to follow the exact same tutorial over here and then you can ping any text in your park directory so if you have parked the sites like i have parked my sites in a sites directory see these sites so all of my directories are here so all of have those test domain you can browse any directory like hope.test you can browse any directory executing commands like hope.test but before doing this and you can also set various value links as well like this 
because I have different directories inside API. So I have set the API links to this. I don't have configured the Hobro test, so that's why it's not showing up. But uh, if you go inside Hope, we have different directories API and front end. So I will configure front end. Front end is a Nux installation. Uh, Nux installation and API is a Laravel installation. So I need to serve from the API directory inside the Hope directory. So I need to link valid link. And first you go inside the API directory and then execute valid link. And then you can uh, set up the site name like uh, Hope okay so now let's check link is ready hope and this is pointing to hope api laravel directory and in the front end we can now execute the go inside the uh, go inside front end and you can run npm dev so for running npm dev you need to install the node.js 16 version i have already installed it node 16 so go to the node site node.js and install this 16 version it is now compatible with the arm based mac applications so once you install it you can run the npm run dev and it will start the next listening on localhost 3000 and then it will fetch from the api link we have provided so now if i type hope test so hope test is now fetching laravel so it's working and if i go to local 3000 you can see the site is working and you can log in obviously you have to provide the username password but this is now using the api call to the laravel so this is how you can configure Valet well and API which will work from the localhost 3000. So all is now running natively on Apple M1 Mac. So most of the programs now have already migrated to ARM based architecture. For example, if you look at the MySQL, I believe V. So you can see that MySQL is now ARM based instead of x86 or x64. So all of this is running. I have faced one problem while migrating telescope. So in Laravel I was facing an error while migrating telescope. So I had to put this statement set foreign key checks to zero before migrating then it worked. You may have a different behavior. So let me know in the comments if you face that kind of error. You need to set foreign keys to zero in MariaDB. Otherwise, it, it works fine everywhere. So, beside that, I believe I have uh, mentioned everything regarding Apple MVAC. M1 Mac, if you have any problem, let me know and I will post another tutorial on that. I have also installed the Wheel Studio code. It is also native ARM based and it is working good. And if you need to install other applications, I can guide you on that for Apple M1 Mac. But all is now running natively on M1 Mac. Thank you very much for watching this video. And please subscribe. And if you have not liked any of my videos, please do so. Thank you.